like we use two string or some uh, basically two string on object and in that case we get object object when we try to uh, like console it so let's assume like we have an object called store so I'm just going to name it store and I'll name it as var so that we can define it again and again so it as you see like this is a nested object so for example like here store name and categories and all right now if I try to do store dot to string what we'll see here is like it is not printing the actual properties so you might have seen uh, this kind of thing in your project or wherever you were writing code you might have experienced this thing so you I assume like you, you would have solved this uh, by adding json dot stringify uh, this way you can solve this right so, yeah but you but you need to do with all the objects all the uh, whenever you would try to log you just do the stringify then you try to log it that works for you that's fine that's the one way I'll just clear it out and now if I uh, print store so let's say I have this object and where this is nested categories and all all right let's say yeah on this object i want to add one property i want to just modify the two string method and i want to add my own two string here so what i can do here is like let's say while defining the this object i just want to add one property here uh, after this i will just add one two string and uh, I can just return uh, like uh, a string uh, just by printing in the same pattern uh, the object is or we can just simply do the JSON dot stringify okay now what will happen is like I'm just uh, actually doing the stringify of uh, the object uh, which we currently are having here let's try to print it now and see what happens so I'm just going to do two string now you see like uh, we are getting the data we don't need to just do the two string here but if I try to loop it you will notice like I'm also getting two string as the property which is uh, which I don't want so let's say for some reason uh, in our code we are looping it and trying to access each and every property uh, we will encounter two string as well which will, where will there will have to add a condition that to avoid using two string so in that case we can just add a property here uh, I mean we can just configure this property so to configure this property what we will do is like we'll add a store uh, object here we'll, we'll mark a property as to string and then we can define its configuration we'll, uh, we'll make enumerable false now if I try to loop it again you will notice like we are not getting two string so in this way you can just make use of some uh, essential methods for example like here we are using two string another one more uh, tip for you is like uh, instead of adding two string on each object what you can do is like you can define one um, custom object or and you can inherit that object in each you know every uh, required object or whatever or like another way could be like uh, you can just modify the actual object of um, method so the JavaScript object method we can modify it so like uh, here we can define its prototype and we can modify the two string property of it although this is a part of the separate discussion so we'll look into it later